Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Roxbury Community College. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the next edition of Bristol Community College Women's Bayhawks Basketball. For Dave Cardoza, I'm Craig Sodler, joined by Dave Cardoza here on this late night getting ready. And Dave, we see we have all six uh, Bayhawks in uniform today. Last week we had only five, and that really came back to haunt the Bayhawks in the last game. Yeah, it was kind of a, it was kind of disappointing to see that happen. BCC had controlled that game on Saturday, as we've seen against Springfield Tech, and um, they lost. They lost Deborah Banks, who fouled out with about six or seven minutes to play in that fourth quarter, as Roxbury taking an early timeout. Quickest timeout I've ever seen. <laughs> I think exactly. And you remember um, last year, I believe you said Roxbury, what were they ranked number one in the nation? Something like that? Yeah, they've been. They've had the number one program in in the NJCAA Division Three for for the last handful of years. And now this year I believe they have a they have a actually I guess he's not I thought he was a new head coach, but he's in his eleventh year. Mark Lasizic. But Roxbury, 11th year head coach. Yeah, he's 11th year head coach. Roxbury has had one of the top programs. They've been Nash. They've been national champions. So, Roxbury is like the Duke. They're like the Duke Blue Devils of the NJCAA Women's Division Three. They like UConn women's team. Yeah, like UConn. Oh, that's a nice spin move into two points for Taylor Grant. Taylor yeah. Grant, if you remember last year, she was a big contributor to this yeah, team. Yeah, that was a nice uh, spin move there by Taylor Grant, putting up the window, kissing it in. Rivera taking it all the way. And but as we were they're gonna call a foul on 33. I think they call an offensive foul. And that's who we, you know, we want the fans to look out for Iris Rivera. And I don't know Fresh what Iris Rivera, number 33. Look out for her. She's been one of the top contributors so far in the young season, and she's just a freshman. Yeah, even though Bayhawks looking for their first win, they uh Iris Rivera has been putting on quite a big showcase from both the three-point line, from the foul line, as well as driving to the hole and just putting up layups. There's one down, going up for the and layup. This is what two, Roxbury and does, Craig. One. That's Kayla Kelly. Roxbury likes to run, and with BCC having that short bench, you know, luckily they do have someone on the bench today, but Roxbury. See Kaylee Oliver over on the bench. She was absent from last game. Yeah, Roxbury has. They have a team. That's pretty deep, and they, they like to run. You usually have they usually have a lot of athleticism, but they get on the fast break. They There's have some the good rebound up for two. That's number twenty one. That's Cherie Osborne. Cherie Osborne with the putback. Again, we see the press. We've seen so many teams start this way on defense, and BCC has been struggling to work around it throughout the last few games. Well, you know, right now the weakness of BCC is their depth. So if you get them tired, you, you um, pound into them early. We've seen BCC suck and win last game. You know, tough to do it with five players or four. BCC in his own defense right now. And now Roxbury looking to pass around. Cherie, Ooh, step gonna, back that's too. Gonna be the, that's going to be the matchup right there. Number 21, Cherie Osborne and, um, and Iris Rivera. Press is Megan Parrish looking to drive down court. There's a pass to Banks in the paint, but she loses it. That one gets taken away by Kayla Kelly as Kayla Kelly yeah. looks to drive, handed it off. Grant spin move up for two, and that one can't fall as rebounded by Iris Rivera. Yeah, Deborah Banks looked like she wasn't expecting that pass there. I don't think she was, and that gets stolen away from Careless Janice turnovers. Ray. And now Ray going up to lay it up, can't get it, rebounded by number five, and she puts it up, can't get that one to fall as Perino comes down with the rebound. Tries to bounce pass to Rivera, and that one's going to go out of bounds. God, BCC just turned the ball over like three times in the last 20 seconds. Yeah, it was a good rebound by Perino, but either Rivera wasn't expecting it or it just kind of looked like it was just out of her reach. That's back. Here's a three. That one's good. That's a Shanice pre, Ray. That's a pretty shot. Shanice Ray from Mount Vernon High School in Arlington, Virginia. Virginia coming a long way. And already, Roxbury on an 11-0 run as the Bayhawks have not scored a point yet in this game. Iris Rivera looking to change that, but it gets stripped away. 
The foul is going to be on Shanice Ray. But it's just going to be on the floor, and they'll take the ball out underneath, underneath their own basket. And Shanice Ray also from Virginia. It's two Virginia players on this team. Oh, Deborah Banks going up there strong there against number 21, Cherie Osborne. And she's going to the line trying to get the first points for the Bayhawks in this contest. If I'm Deborah Banks, I'm taking it at Cherie Osborne every time and, and put her into foul trouble. Cherie Osborne, a sophomore, 5'10", forward. If they, can get, if they can get her out of the middle, that would be huge. Remember last game, uh, that was something Deborah Banks was doing good at, was she was able to draw a lot of fouls and had a lot of chances to go to the line. Yeah, she's using an up fake more, and she's got more lift in her legs. Whole new Ray body transformation for the boss. Uh, she thought about a three, but she's just going to give it away. Back to where she goes for it. Here it comes, and that one is going to fall. Kayla Kelly from deep three. My goodness, splish splash. That was taking a bath. Another corner three for Roxbury. Pretty release. 14-1 early. Good. Yeah, Kayla Kelly's good from out there. You might see that more often in this game. Playing tight on Parrish. Here's, here comes Rivera looking to drive. She's going to throw it up, and it gets knocked down. Tried to go for an underhand layup. Couldn't get it to connect, but she's going to go to the line. It's so funny. Iris Rivera, you know, obviously she's shown that she's a terrific player. And um, it's so funny. It looks like she's going in slow motion, but she gets to where she wants to go. Mm. It's almost like Paul Pierce. Hmm. He just he lo she just looks like she's in, like, like, like doing the Baywatch run, and, but she gets to the hoop. She's like in slow motion, but it's silky smooth slow motion. She, yep. bang, hits, she hits two free throws. She's one of the more consistent players on this team, which is another uh, really good comparison to Paul Pierce. That's it. Kelly looking for someone, gives it to Ray. Ray BCC off, in that zone. And BCC in that zone, and last game that zone was effective. Ray with the floater, and that one's going to stay up for a while and land for two. 16 to 3, 6.30 remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, Shanice Ray, she puts it up so lightly off the, off the rim, it just falls in and twinkles in for two. Bounce pass to Banks. Banks go to the rim, gets it knocked away. Perino throws it up, can't get it to fall. He gets her own rebound, throws it up again and again, can't get it. Kelly almost had it, and now Banks comes up with step back jumper off the glass, no good. Uh. Rebounded by Brooklyn Davis. And Davis driving without a license. She's going to throw it up, and that's going to go for two. Yeah, she puts it up, but she was totally under control there. Yep. Roxbury really showing why they're the best, one of the best teams in the nation. They're the number one team in the NJCAA Region 21. And they've been that way for a long time. Yeah, it's been a run of dominance. Rivera for three. It's oh. good. And there is the first legitimate field goal for the Bayhawks in this game. Silky for three. She got such a pretty release. Looks like Larry Bird out there. Grant step back two. It's good. Taylor Grant with that step back shot. Showing the skills. I kind of miss this step back jumper for two. You don't see it as much these days because with modern basketball, a lot of people just take it from three, but you don't always have to get the three. You can get the two points. Yeah, Paul Pierce, that used to be that used to be some of his game. Kobe Bryant. This game's just gonna be a love letter to Paul Pierce, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> to your Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce was my favorite growing up. Definitely one of my favorites. The truth. And one of the my favorite chair game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of my favorites at the line right now. <laughs> Megan Parrish at the line misses the first free throw. Megan Parrish off to a slow start this year, but you know we totally expect her to um, to step her game up as Roxbury almost puts out an entire new line out there. Yeah, that's the only what they one staying out there is Taylor Grant. That's what they do. Megan missing both free throws. Iris Rivera gets in there, hustling for the rebound, and she'll go to the line if she gets fouled there. We see Megan Perino subbing out, so Kaylee Oliver getting her first minutes in the game. She's got such a smooth stroke.
And one thing BCC is doing good is Iris makes uh, both free throws. They've drawn more, they've drawn five fouls already so far, whereas they've only given up one with five minutes so far into this game. So if Roxbury are going to give them those points, they have to make their foul shots. Well, BCC is on a little bit of a run. It was 18-1, to one, now it's 20-8. to eight. A little hook shot, not able to fall. That was from Krishana Davenport. As Shayna Shorter is guarding Iris Rivera. Rivera going to her left, tried to pass it to Banks. Banks wasn't getting in, it goes out of bounds. And that's, what, ball. and that's what's going to kill BCC is these, these careless turnovers. It's been a lot of miscommunication so far. They're lucky right now it's 20 to 8. And that the um, Roxbury has five team fouls, so. BCC in the bonus. Desi they got to get Pass Where's it off. the road? There's a three. No good. Rebounded, though, up for two. BCC is not. They're not. Shana Davenport. They're not rotating off the 2-3 off the zone. They're, they're, giving, they're giving Roxbury these outside corner jump shots every single time. Mm -hmm. Kaylee Oliver picked up her dribble. She got lucky. She was able to get the pass off. As here's another pass thrown away again. Banks can't get it, but here's Oliver throwing up a layup. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Krishana as it goes out of bounds. So it'll stay BCC's ball. And if you remember... If you remember um, Kaylee Oliver there, she was one of the key contributors um, last in the um, in the home opener, and she was not there on Saturday. So they could definitely they could definitely use her on the court today and use her offense. And they call a travel on Iris Rivera. She tried to pass it. It's another turnover. BCC in that two three zone. Got to put your hands up on the zone. He's passing around, going a little around the world action. Inbound pass to Grant. She gives it away. And there's that up and down. So BCC, a good job keeping number three, Lyric, for Fune down. She can't get the shot off. Pass to Banks works. Is Iris coming down with it now? Long pass to Parrish, Ooh. she has it. Coming back, going through the paint, throws it up, can't oh. get it to go as Taylor Grant gets the rebound. Megan Parrish, she caught that one in traffic. Brought, ooh, nice well, pass Tom there. Brady pass to oh, Destiny goodness. Hurt. But a big travel from Destiny Hurt. Oh, that's too bad because she caught that and put that up simultaneously, but she, she didn't put the ball to the ground. Here's Oliver. Oliver going down the middle, stops, gets the job. banks, banks a little jumper for two, no good, rebounded by Hurt. Hurt gives a bounce pass to Lyric. Lyric back to Hurt. Roxbury showing a good passing game. Passing game, what is this like? This is like the Patriots. <laughs> good passing game. Couldn't get it to go and they draw a foul. I believe that was Taylor Grant. They have a good special teams, too. Special teams. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely move the ball well, though. They definitely move the ball. They're definitely unselfish. They definitely like to get out on the break and, you know. And Grant a, misses the first one. It's an unselfish team. It's only the second team foul from BCC. Perino checks in. She makes the second one, so BCC back on offense. Parrish almost lost it, breaking the oh, ankles as she goes for the layup and gets it swatted man, away from Destiny no, Hurt. She got fouled there. She got hacked. Did you just call her Destiny's Child? No, Destiny Hurt. That's oh, her name. Destiny Hurt. Yeah. Destiny Hurt with the foul there. Yeah, she. Um, that was an obvious foul, but a great take to the basket by Megan Parrish. Showed a nice burst. You saw her going down the court. You've heard of the Undertaker, Megan Parrish acting like the ankle taker. The ankle taker. Oh man. Megan sinks the first one. She has the second one. Seven of BCC's points have come from foul shots. BCC playing a lot better since they were down 18 to one. Let's see if they can put together a run here. Roxbury looking more for the passing game again. 
Let's see if they can be like the men and take them deep into that shot clock. Yeah, the shot clock is going down. They're going to throw it. Yeah, She's but it's going to be throw a, it off Oliver's leg. No, it's going to be a kickball. They're going to yep. call kickball on Kaylee Oliver. Fifteen on the shot clock. That's back. Lyric jumper for two. Stays up. Can't get it. Oh, you get a Go. rebound. You get a get it. You gotta put a body on it. You get to put a body on Taylor Grant. She's gonna eat you up all day down there. And Iris goes, tries to throw it up again. She gets fouled. I told you, I don't know how she do. I don't know how she does it, but she hits by people and she gets to the hoop. And she gets fouled, and she always picks up the foul and goes to the line. She's like deceptively quick. Hmm. The money release. Honestly, and I think Taylor if you Grant's coming out. Honestly, I think if you if you give BCC a couple more players on that bench, I think you see a lot of different results. It's hard to play the whole game and not have much of a rest. Yeah, definitely. Throw her off the floater off the glass. And that uh, Sharif Osborne takes in it yeah, goes out of bounds. No one can get it to fall. You get a box out, you gotta put a body on someone. You gotta get the position. They say it's off BCC, so it's Roxbury's ball. Yes, and they get a new shot clock. But BCC's given Roxbury, you can't give it you can't give a team like this that many opportunities. Here's a three, and that one's good. That's uncalled for. <laughs> off the inbound, number four, Shania Shorter. Wide open for three off the inbound play. Left her wide open. Oh, Iris Cuts going to the left again, throws it up. This she's one got that, goes, oh no my. foul on the play. She's got that quick little crossover dribble to her left. She likes going to her left, and she puts it up off the glass and in. Nice take by Iris. I throw and down to the paint off the glass. You know what though? BCC hanging in there. Ever since being down 18 to 1, you can't spot, you can't spot, you cannot spot Roxbury 18 points. But ever since then, it's been a competitive ball game. Our Cervera taking a rest as Casey Amaral coming in for. Since being down 18 to 1, BCC has actually outscored Roxbury, the Tigers. This is what that is where uh, Roxbury's aggressive defense comes to him is most of the points as that one gets stolen away. Most of BCC's points come from foul shots as this one gets laid in, unable to fall. BCC trying to get the rebound, but no one's there to grab it as Shorter takes it back. Less than a minute left in the quarter now. Roxbury missing a lot of layups. They're actually miss, they're actually missing a lot of shots. Hurt puts up a three, can't get it. Amaral almost got it, but Sharif puts it in and gets oh, it for geez. two. Megan Perino way outmatched there. You get to put a body on her. But um, yeah, Megan Marino, no match for Oliver with the crossover. Sheree gets the Osborne. Pick, hands it off to Parrish. Shot clock at 20. Parrish lost it. As Shorter comes up with it. Shorter looking to drive, and she'll throw up the layup and can't get it to go as Deborah Banks gets the rebound. Shot clock off. That's another that's another miss. Another layup missed. Long pass to Oliver. Oliver maybe put up the three. She does, and that one will stay up, and Sharif will get the rebound. Ten seconds left. She's going to look to drive. Hands it off, and here's another layup, wow. and that one will fall. How about Sharif Osborne leading the break in the middle, getting the assist? How about that? Yep, and now we will reach the final second, and that will end the first quarter. Shot doesn't count. She couldn't get it off. Wasn't close to begin with anyway. So first quarter, 32-14, to 14, Roxbury. And BCC showing some effort there after being down by 17, after being down 18 to one at one point, but still they find themselves down 18 as uh, Roxbury finishes the uh, the quarter strong.
Well, Craig, BCC, as I was saying earlier, that was a tough game on Saturday when BCC had a, they had the lead against Springfield. They basically had control that whole game, and BCC only played with five players that day, and um, they ended up losing that game by a point against Springfield Tech, and they were they were winning by they were winning by six points with about seven or eight minutes to play, and then Springfield, you know, worked their way back in it. BCC just kind of ran out of gas, but Iris Rivera had a chance to win the game. She um she had a two two chances to win the game. Um, at the end there, but just fell just fell short. Missed the, missed the layup, and um, missed a couple layups though at the end. I, I just think she didn't have the legs there at the end, and um, it was kind of unfortunate to see that happen because BCC would have. I think they definitely would have won that game if Deborah Banks didn't go out. That was a game that they should have won, but BCC is now 0-3 on the young season, and yeah. Roxbury is. They um, they're one and zero, but they're they're two and two. In, in Region 21. Hmm. So it looks like Roxbury has already played four games. But they have um, they have one out of conference there. Roxbury has mixed up pretty good mix of sophomore and freshman. A long pass over. And she's driving through the paint, puts up a two, and gonna get fouled on the play is Brooklyn Davis. Brooklyn Davis, the five foot ten sophomore shooting guard, and you know, Roxbury comes in with a, they come in with a tall lineup. It was Cherie Osborne forward five foot ten and Brooklyn Davis five foot ten. And uh, Taylor Grant, five foot ten. So that I mean, that front line right there. Well, actually, Brooklyn Davis in the backcourt at five foot ten. So you got three girls that are nearly six feet, yep. athletic, quick, can play in the post, can play on the break, and shoot the three. We've seen it all here from from Roxbury early. Now Roxbury no longer doing the press anymore as they get back on defense. Well, it's all about conserving energy at this point. Pass, Iris looking for three, almost, but couldn't get it quite to go. Oliver comes up with the rebound though, gets another rebound, throws it up, can't get it to go as Shayna Shorty gets it. Gotta make those opportunities when you get them. Throwing it right through the defenders, here's one for three. Short off the rim, fall into the Oliver's hands for the rebound. Gets it blocked by Kayla Kelly, hands it off, throws up for two off the glass, and it's good for Brooklyn Davis. And just more Kayla's basketball, more turnovers for, by BCC. You hate to see that, but that's just the way it's going down here tonight. Iris gives it to Parrish. Parrish got two people on her. She gives it to Banks. Now Iris gets it back. Step in, jumper for two. No good out the back as Sharif gets the rebound. A long throw to Davis. Davis, wow. Iris giving chase. Davis duking everyone out, and she gets it to go for the layup for two. Very good, and that pass was by, was that by Sharif Osborne? Yeah, Sharif Osborne with the Tom Brady plays. Another pass to Banks. She bobbles it again, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah, on the previous play, Sharif Osborne with a nice outlet pass there. They were constantly looking up. They get the ball, and they're looking up, and they're pushing, they're pushing the ball down court. And BCC looks like they just look out of sorts in their zone. There's holes in their zone right now, and they played a lot better on Saturday. Pass to Davis. Davis has Parrish and Iris on her. Now here's a three in the corner. Can't get it airballed, but Sharif gets the rebound and puts it in for two. Yeah, man, no one there. No white shirts there for BCC. Sharif Osborne's right there to put it back. And Sh Shanice Ray was just off with it. But again, like we said, Sharif just there for the rebound. I mean, she's always going to be there for the rebound. Who's going to box her out? Well, we saw what could have been a pretty good matchup as Iris was kind of on her for a while, but Iris was guarding another person. As you remember, you saw Parrish and Iris were both going for the ball, but the ball got passed. And the missed three attempt, they just didn't get back on defense, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just right now, I think it's just a matter of conditioning. You know, I don't know if Coach Moniz needs to call more frequent, more timely timeouts right now, but, you know, you got to get, 
you know, you got to get um, creative here. I mean, you got six players. You got to get them. You got to rotate. You got to you got to have timely timely timeouts. You know, give these girls a breather. Why not? Why not match them up, man or woman? Why not match them up? Hey, you get this person, and that's it. Because right now the zone just ain't working, and they're they're not making their rotations. It's, they're constantly Roxbury constantly has a shooter, either on the wing or in the corner. They're constantly open. The girls are not getting over there. So, and then when they toss the ball inside, someone's always open. It's just they're just they're just not playing Oliver. the zone right. Oliver on the inbound gets the parish. Tipped up, Oliver stays with it. And another problems with the shot clock. The theme of the season, Dave. <laughs> At least with the girls game. They just want to make us suffer, Craig. Hmm. Forty to fourteen in the second quarter so far. As Oliver looks to inbound pass again to Rivera. And see Ray on Rivera gives it to Amaral. Nice oh, pass nice. to Oliver Ooh. behind her head. Can't get it to go though, but a nice pass from Casey Amaral yeah, finding Kaylee Oliver. It's too bad she found herself stuck underneath the hoop, but she still had time to kind of get her wits about her and step back and put it out the glass, but she didn't. It's Kayla Kelly in the corner from three, and she got it. Oh, it's just so pretty. The way she shoots over there in the corner, KK. From New Mission High School, Boston, Massachusetts. And she needs to Ray fouls Megan Parrish. You know, it's tough. It's 43 to 14, Craig, and, you know, it's... It's so early. It's so early, and we're we're gonna start talking about moral victories. Mm. I already started. I talked about Casey Amaral's bounce pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a moral victory. Kaylee Oliver inbounds again to Iris. Bounce pass to Banks. Banks looking for something, loses it, but Parrish is there, and she's gonna take it herself. And I think they're calling. I don't know what they're if calling. I'm Both teams only have one team foul. Not sure what the call is there, but either way, it's a turnover. It's Kayla Kelly's taking it. Quite the hairdos on this team. Number two and Kayla Kelly with the, with the red. And you got... Oh, Kelly is wide open, and that is her hot spot. She throws up a three Bang. and sends it home. <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. I would have somebody fall on her. <laughs> Do like a box and one. Right now, I the two. That, I saw that coming all the way. I saw her running over to the corner, and I was like, that is her shot. She knows what she's doing. She's doing whatever she wants to do. They got three people on Parrish. Parrish looks to drive and just swatted away from by Taylor Grant. Yeah, there it is. I mean, there's that length that we talk about. I mean, look at with that front court right there with Brooklyn Davis and, and Osborne and Grant. Oliver from deep range, can't get it to go as Kayla Kelly comes up with the rebound. Kelly running to her left, looking to pass maybe to Grant instead. No, she gives it off to Shorter. Shorter puts up a three at the top. Can't get it, Iris with a rebound. BCC in danger here, really, really getting smoked out of this gym right now. Amaral gives it to Iris and to Parrish. Parrish puts up a three herself, no good too much off the glass into the arms of Kayla Kelly. It's wide right. Kelly just driving through the paint, throws up a layup oh and gets it goodness. to go. No foul on the play. Kayla Kelly showing off all her arsenal. Not just to shoot her, but she could drive to the rim, scoop it up and in. Oh, and there's a pass. Me Megan, oh, and uh, she's going to get it. And Kayla, now Kelly. Kayla Kelly going to get some more points on the board P with the left hand layup. Yeah, puts it up pretty with the left hand. Kayla Kelly getting it done. And it's another miscue from BCC. Parrish not looking for the pass. Was running. Uh, Really just like running through the basket, was not expecting a pass from Rivera, just went past her and Kayla Kelly came up with the steal. And second thought, Craig, I, I don't think I don't think BCC is going to be able to match up, you know, playing man to man or woman to woman or whatever you want to call it. I, I think they would be totally it would be totally mismatched, but just the way the zone is is just not there. You could you gotta extend that zone out to the three point line, out, out to the perimeter and chase those shooters and collapse and collapse on them when they go in the, when they get in the corner, and they're just not they're just not doing it. Well, 
when you play a team like Roxbury, you can't, you know, you can't have, you can't have the foolish turnovers. You can't have turnover after turnover and mistake after mistake, and and um, you you have to you have to get on the boards. You can't give Roxbury second and third chances, and it's just, um, I mean, that's just the reality of it. It's not rocket science. BCC back on offense. I don't think they've scored a field goal in this quarter yet. You are correct. Banks look for a shot, giving it back to Rivera. Rivera going to her left, loses it. Destiny Hurt had it, but lost it, so this will stay Bayhawks ball. BCC needs something here. They need a little run here to stop the bleeding. 50 to 14, Roxbury halfway to the century mark with over five minutes to play in the first half. Oliver giving it to Parrish. Parrish gives it to uh, Banks, gets it swatted away, and there's a foul on the play from number five, Brooklyn Davis. Good job by Deborah Banks to get the position. She got the position that she wanted on Brooklyn Davis, turned around, and got the contact. BCC drawing more fouls and giving fouls in this game. And you look at Deborah Banks. I mean, she's just given up. She's just given a lot. She's given up a lot of height, you know, to a lot of these players. I mean, you're, she's going against. She's going against girls that are five foot ten, five foot eleven, six feet sometimes, six foot one. She's really good playing amongst the trees. So she has to play taller than what she really is. It's not easy. Nope. Roxbury just toying with them now. Two people passing back. Sharif in the paint. A lot of contact oh, nice stripped block. away. Iris gets the block. She's running down court. She is going to go all the way. Nope, she's going to give it to Parrish. And Parrish straddling the line. It goes out of bounds. But they're going to say that Destiny Hurt tipped it out. And we're going to see Krishana Davenport back in this game as Sharif comes out. And we're also seeing Lyric for Funin. I'm digging the names for for uh, for RCC over here, Destiny and Lyric and Brooklyn. We got we got Destiny's Iris child. We got Oliver, and they're gonna say Oliver traveled on the play. Destiny's child, Jason Lyric. I gotta say, Destiny Hurts got to be a cool name to grow up with. Yeah, Brooklyn Davis, Shanice Ray, Shakira Johnson, Shari Osborne. I'm I'm liking it. Taylor Grant. Everybody's gonna. I like the name. I'm glad you said Shakira Johnson because I didn't really know how to say it at first. <laughs> Shakira Johnson, Krishana Javenport. The all cool name team. Davis thought about shooting it, gonna give it to Hurt. Pass it away again. Inbound pass to Grant, step back, gets it swatted away. Now, BCC did a good job of collapsing uh, when, that, when RCC got the ball in the post. To, uh, to Taylor Grant, and the things that they weren't doing was when they were getting the ball in the post, you know, they were, their post players were wide open. Yeah, in a matter of seconds, they were all over Taylor Grant. Yeah, they were all over right there. Why could they should be doing that all game? And that's what I mean. They're not collapsing on the um, on the post player when they're when when Roxbury is getting the ball inside. They're kind of just left dangling there, and they're getting easy easy looks inside, easy hoops. Grant goes one for two on the line at that time. Iris right, the long pass to Oliver. Oliver gets it and gets it to go for two. Beautiful. And those two can play off each other. Those two can step it up. We've seen it. We've seen it last week when those two were playing with each other. Yeah, we saw in the home opener, Iris had over 20 points. Oliver not too far behind her with 19 in that game. Yeah, they were they were lit, they were lighting it up. Davis finds a hole, she's gonna throw it up, it gets blocked. But Lyric comes up with it, gives it away to Hurt. Shot clock winding down, gets it stolen. Go. Parrish going, go they got a hustle. Parrish goes to her left and throws it up off the glass for there two. There it is. Finally, Megan gets to go into the basket and picks up the foul, lays it in. And you'll appreciate this, Dave, she went with her left hand. Thank you, Jesus. 
Well, that's good, though. A lot of times we see Megan go into the hoop and she either gets blocked or she gets fouled or she falls to the ground or, you know. Sometimes all three. Yeah, or loses the basketball. Like she's got the, she's got the lane. She's got the speed. She's got the drive. She's going to the basket, and then it's like, what happened? Good to see her nail that. Good to see her Carino get the three-point play there. there. There's a short jumper for three from Lyric for Fion. I just don't hear BCC communicating. I don't see. I don't hear them being vocal. They're starting to commit the long passing game. You saw to Oliver again. For the first down. <laughs> <laughs> See if they can get a 15-yard penalty off Roxbury. Yeah. That is a kickball. Yeah, BCC, I just don't see any communication. I don't hear any communication from the coach. I don't hear any communication from the players. Everybody's kind of silent. You know, I'm not sure how you can play the game of basketball and not, and not communicate with each other. Hmm. Has to bang, spin around, gets it in for two. 53 to 21, less than three remaining in the half. There's some communication, I guess if you can call it that. <laughs> There's a yeah. shot getting it to go. I think it might out, have been Destiny Hurt. Out in the wild, maybe. I think I've seen, <laughs> I think I've heard the same thing on National Geographic. <laughs> <laughs> Like Ice gets like the ball back from her shot for three and Ooh. swishes it. That's one thing she can do. She can shoot from long range out there. The shot is pretty. Here's the pass in. Throwing it up. Can't get it to go. Grant gets it back. Going to give it to Hurt. Hurt for two. Gets it to go. That elbow jumper from Destiny Hurt. Roxbury, just a good shooting team. It was a good job from Taylor Grant to stay with it. That ball was airballed when she got to it. And that gets stolen away from third, number 13, Krishana Davenport, taking it herself all the way, puts it up off the glass for two. Just the length. BCC can't get away with some of those passes. Just the length right there. Krishana Davenport, 5'11", from Forest Park High School in Baltimore, Maryland. And Banks on the key, trying to give it away. Gives it to Parrish. Parrish crossing over, going to the left. Side stopping, giving it to Oliver. Oliver gets it taken away, but Parrish takes it back, gets a pick, but it's going to be a foul on Oliver. Oliver tried to get the pick, but too much contact from her end of it. Yeah, so they'll call an offensive foul there. BCC down 35. A minute 17 left to play here in the first half at Conley. Is that Megan Perino doing that? Yep. <laughs> Taylor Grant comes up with it. Pass over to Hurt. Hurt for two. Off the glass. No good. Almost rebounded but swatted away by BCC. But Roxbury comes up with it anyway. And it is in the hands of Kayla Kelly with less than a minute remaining. Kayla Kelly in the corner, going to give it away this time to Krishana. Krishana got surrounded, and it got stolen away by Iris Rivera. Going to look up. There Megan you go. Parrish looking to drive oh, nice to her drive. left, going to throw it up, and she's going to get fouled on it. Nice little crossover there, nice little shimmy, getting to the basket, and she'll go to the line again. I want to see Megan Parrish get more aggressive, start taking more shots. I mean, you should have a good three-headed monster with Kaylee Oliver, Iris Rivera, and Megan Parrish. Right now, I don't think they're playing up to their full potential. As Megan sings the first one. And Casey Amaral comes in for Kaylee Oliver. This misses the second one, and Grant is there for it, the rebound. The thing is, at, at halftime, what do you tell your team? What do you tell your team when you're down 34 points? Do better. <laughs> I don't know. Do well. I don't know. What do you <laughs> There's Kinda Kaylee in the corner, gives it away to Grant. There it Top is. of the key is hurt. Can't get it to go. Shot clock is off. Get a rebound. 
Kashana getting rebounds after rebounds. Puts now Grant gets it, throws it off at the rebound. top of the glass and gets it to go for two. And I mean, that's just... Last seconds remaining. My, Megan Parrish might just throw it up from half court. Rox and no, she'll just lose it, and that is how the half will end. And right now, Roxbury, just it's like they're playing against their little brother right now, just like grabbing rebounds at any time. Three, four, five chances. And that's the story of the first half as BCC finds themselves down 61-25 in their home court. Not pretty. Hopefully Coach Sirs Moniz can, can, motiv can motivate his girls and come out with a better showing here in the second half. Yep, so 61-25 to ends the first half. Stay here on FRC Media as we'll be back for the second half of this game. And welcome back to the second half of this BCC women's basketball game. Craig Salvador, Dave Cardoza here from FRC Media. Dave, what did you see in the first half of this game? Well, I see right now, I just see um, BCC is just, I mean, they're just getting torched. I mean, Roxbury is just, um, just has a lot more talent. They have a deeper bench, and, and BCC, turn, too, ma too many turnovers. Too many turnovers in the first half, Craig. BCC trying to turn it down as Roxbury winded on the shot clock. Tried bounce passing to Iris Rivera. It went off of Kaylee Oliver. It's going to be a kickball, so it'll stay for BCC. Shot clock goes back up to 15. And BCC doesn't really have the length. They don't have the length in the inside to compete and to rebound. And you, you like to see them put a body on someone, too. On the Can't let Roxbury get second and third opportunities. They're too good of a team. Megan Parrish drives to the hole, tries to get it as Megan Perino gets the rebound, but just gets blocked by Krishana Davenport. That 5'11 frame really working in Davenport's favor. And all she had to do was just put her hand, put her hand up to block, to block little Megan Perino there. I love the matching shoes, too, by the Tigers. All repping all kinds of shades of pink. Parrish centers it, gives it to Amaral. Amaral wide open, puts up a three as it's wide and will go out of bounds. Wide right. I'd like to see BCC dig in and show some fight here in the second half. That's all you can ask for. That's all you can ask for if you're a coach too. Kaylee Kelly thought about three, but she's going to drive into herself. She's going to try to find Destiny Hurt, but it's going to go out of bounds. But they're going to say it's off of BCC, so Tiger's staying with the ball. I didn't see that. I didn't see the ball go up about BCC. Quick inbound pass to Destiny Hurt, and she's going to bank it in for two. BCC has been torched on more inbound plays. Parrish tried going to the left, lost it, and it's going to be Tiger's ball. And that's what I mean. It's been kind of turnovers like that, just kind of like the of the unforced variety. Pass to Krishana, goes off of Hurt. It's going to almost go out of bounds, but they get it to Kayla Kelly. Kelly to Krishana. Krishana turn around, a little bit of a hook shot, can't get it to go as Iris Rivera gets the rebound. Rivera straddling the line, having to stop, trying to find something to do with it. Hands it to Parrish. Parrish going to the left, gets blocked, but it gets rebounded by Deborah Banks. She goes it in, and she's going to try to get a three point play. There you go. There's the offensive position I'm talking about. Yeah, the offensive rebound position I'm talking about. So Deborah Banks going to the line. Foul goes from or the foul was foul goes on Kayla Kelly. If you're BCC, you gotta slowly, slowly try to creep back into this thing. It all starts in the defensive end, though. You need some stops. Pass to her, gives it out to Kelly. Over to Grant. Roxbury with the passing game. Grant going in. She has Iris on her stops, puts up a two, and it's good. Taylor Grant quietly having herself an evening. Parrish finds. Roxbury looking to inbound from the corner as Kayla Kelly gives it away to Larry Crafune. Kelly for three. 
No good, but it's rebounded by Hurt. No good, and Grant and Roxbury just getting second chance after second chance after second chance, and Taylor Grant gets a two-pointer. And I just feel, I feel like BCC is just not challenging these shots. They're not going. They're not going at the defender and putting that hand up. Nope, and even when Roxbury's missing there, just getting as that one gets taken away. And when uh, Roxbury does miss, they're just getting those second and third chances on the rebounds. Deborah Banks checks out, Kaylee Oliver in. You see, there's the help defense. That's what BCC is not doing. Look at the help defense there by, by, by Roxbury. And shot clock ran out. She tried to uh, kind of like bounce it in the paint, but she had Megan Parrish right to her left. Either way, it's another turnover. Pass to the corner, Kelly. There it is. Hey, put, some, put, your, put some hands up. Come at, that, come at that shooter. And now Kelly in the other corner. She's going to put it up. That's her shot, and it's good again. Kayla Kelly in the corner. Kayla Kelly is just tortured BCC from the outside. No, and you saw she was in one corner. Iris Rivera did a good job blocking her as Kelly comes up with a steal, and now she's looking to drive. She's got uh, Iris and Oliver on her. No good, gets rebounded by Oliver, but Grant tried to come down with it. And what I was saying about Kaylee, uh, Kaylee, Kayla Kelly, there's a lot of K names in these both teams. And what I was saying about Kayla Kelly, you saw her in one corner, Iris really just guarding her. She couldn't get that shot off. She gave it away, just ran right to the other corner, and no one was on her. She's constantly been wide open, Craig. No, nope, but she's been Delhi, uh, Delhi, yeah. I can't even talk today. <laughs> I think this Roxbury team's beating me as well. <laughs> Can't even talk now. Feel defeated. Roxbury yeah, with the numbers. De uh, deadly from the outside. Oh, nice. You get the nice scoop pass behind him to the trailer. Lyric Fortune. It's the Fortune 5 in the court right now. Fortune 5. Stolen by Destiny Hurt. <laughs> Look at the two on one. She's going to uh, take it herself. No, nope, nice. she's going to pass it to Grant in for two easy buckets. Look at She waited for the defender to clap to to come up on her and then she gets it over. Who scored the basket? It was Taylor Grant from the pass from Destiny Hurt. From Destiny Hurt, yeah, Destiny Hurt. And Hurt now with a steal. Another she might have one. a similar play, but Look she it. is gonna Textbook. do the exact same thing. But they're gonna call oh, a travel on Grant. Man. Grant oh. could have shot it, she looked the pass and she didn't put the basketball yeah, down before was, she took a I step. I was gonna say that was a textbook two on one, three on one. He had Destiny's, Destiny Hurt waiting for Iris Rivera to get over there before she uh, committed to the bounce pass, and she drew she drew Iris to her. But Taylor Grant wanted to be Miss Unselfish, and they turned the ball over, but. And Roxbury gets a lot of new bodies in this game. It's a long pass to Oliver. Now a long pass back to Amaral, back to Oliver. Oliver puts up a three, it's on line, but it just hits the top, the uh, front of the rim. As Roxbury takes it back, as Brooklyn Davis giving it to Shanae Ray, and that one is just short for three. <laughs> Roxbury Sona coming up with it. Here's a short jumper for two. Nice. That's it. And for Sheree Osborne. Good mid-range jumper there by the by the sophomore forward. Again, BCC just not really contesting these shots too much as Perino tries to put up a two as it's too wide. Megan Osborne per with a rebound. Megan Perino's gonna square up to the basket when she gets that basketball. She's putting the ball off up off balance. Osborne to her right, loses it. Amaral almost had it. She does pick it up, tries to give it to Oliver. Throws it off one of Roxbury's players, throws it off of Shanae Shorter. So it will be BCC's basketball. Seventy-six to twenty-seven in the third quarter. As Oliver gives it to Banks in the corner. Banks back to Oliver. A long pass over to Parrish in the corner. Almost got taken by Ray. And they're gonna say Parrish stepped out of bounds. Right now, Craig, I don't, I don't see, I don't see any continuity on the offensive end from BCC. You know, I don't, I don't see anybody slashing to the basket. I don't see girls moving, moving around. I don't see anybody helping out the person with the ball. I don't see, I don't see an offense right now. It's a lot of hopes. That's Sheree Osborne. It's a lot of hopes and prayers. Shorter is wide open for three. Cannot get it to go. Gets tipped up. Almost rebounded by Brooklyn Davis. It goes out on Kaylee Oliver. So it will be Tigers basketball. 
Our cameraman, Sean, wanted to apologize for a little technical slip up we had a little earlier. I'm not sure if anybody noticed, but maybe you won't notice because this will be on, this isn't live right now, so I'm sure they can edit it out. BCC commits a foul on Sheree Osborne and Osborne's going to the line. Only the second team foul for BCC in this quarter. 76 to 27. Osborne misses the first one. Shree Osborne, five foot ten forward from New London High School in New, Lo in New London, Connecticut. Misses both of the uh, foul shots. I don't think we've seen her from the line too much in this game. BCC hasn't given up too many fouls. This is the pass to Amaral, giving it to Oliver. Oliver gives it back to Amaral. Bounce pass to Banks, gets it tipped away and out of bounds. It'll stay for the Bayhawks. Right now, Iris Rivera sitting on the bench. Inbound pass to Banks. Banks definitely at a height disadvantage. It gets ripped away by Cherie Osborne. And the foul goes to Megan Perino away from the basketball, it looks like. Yeah, she's definitely given up three or four inches to, um, to Cherie Osborne and about 50 pounds. <laughs> you know? Iris back in, Amaral out. Shanice Ray gives to Osborne. The reach of Osborne really works. She went all of her length to get it. Love the ball movement by Roxbury. Ray wide open, thought she was going for a shot. She's going to plant her feet, put it in for two, and that one is going to stay up for a while and fall for two. And it just keeps rolling for Roxbury. Oliver looking for a three, and that okay. one will go. There it is. She can make that shot. Keep shooting that shot right there. 78 to 30. Shorter in the corner, going to give it to Osborne. Osborne turn around, jumper out the back, no good as Rivera gets the rebound. And you see BCC collapse on the shooter in the corner. That's what I was asking for in the first half. They were giving that shot up a lot. They're doing a better job of collapsing on the shooter in the corner when they have a chance to. And Iris Rivera running down. Shanae Shorter draws the foul. Pass to Iris as Destiny is right on her. See, that's what Roxbury right there. They like to trap when you get when you get when the ball goes in the corner, they're trapping. And Megan Parrish tried giving it to Deborah Banks, just missed, and it went right into the arms of Sheree Osborne. And now the Tigers really taking their time with this three from Shayna Shorter goes. Wow, for Shayna three. Shorter and with with Roxbury, it's just a matter of time before they hit one. After they after they hit one, it's just a matter of time of when they're gonna hit another one. There's no there's no and ifs or buts about it. Oliver from deep. And, and that one's rattled. good for three. Yeah, yeah she Kay rattles that one home. And you want to talk about bright spots. Kaylee Oliver starting to heat up now that she has chances from three. Bonus points that she plays with glasses. <laughs> Not even goggles, just actual prescription glasses. Davis thought about it. She's going to stump, uh, step in for two, goes off the glass. A yeah, foul went on Oliver. That is Kaylee Oliver's fourth of the game. You can see Casey Amaral down low, probably about to replace her. So there's less than a minute in the quarter, but we still got a whole other quarter to play. And BCC had 25 points at the half. They have 33 now, so only eight points scored in this quarter. And they're actually sticking with Kaylee Oliver as Megan Parrish is coming out. Brooklyn Davis misses that one, but Sheree came down with it. It gets knocked out of bounds. Don't forget, we also got the men's game coming up right after this. LaFrance Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Home of the Bristol Bayhawks, along with the Bishop Colony Cougars. But we're more <laughs> important right now. We're more important right now. Brooklyn Davis tries throwing up a two. Gets rebounded again from Sheree Osborne. Throws it up off the glass and in. It's the Cardoza and the Cowboys show. 
Yep, we only got two thirds of the C team so far. But we make it work. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. BCC trying to get more of a passing game going again as Iris tried to draw, gives it to Banks at the top. Banks finding Oliver, Oliver with a three. No good, she left the hands up but couldn't get it to go as the shot clock is off with 12 seconds left. Here's Destiny Hurt going to her right, loses it. I give it no to, foul on the play. I give it to Kaylee Oliver. She's got a quick release. When she gets that ball, she doesn't have to wait too long before that ball is out of her hand. She's got a quick release from the, with that outside jumper. Inbound pass. And the foul is on Deborah Banks. And that will be the fifth foul for the Bayhawks. So Osborne's going to the line. BCC doing a little bit better with their help defense. and um, But still, Kayla Kelly was able to torch him for a few three-pointers in this third quarter in the second half so far. Kayla Kelly on the bench now. Her work might be done here tonight. She's had a hell of a game. Second free throw made by Shari Osborne. And it gets stolen away by Hurt in the final few seconds. She's just going to put a little nail in the coffin that is already embedded with nails. Doesn't get it to go. The basket is no good, and that ends the third quarter, 84 to 33. Yeah, at the end of the third quarter, 84 to 33 from Conley. Now, if you're BCC for this quarter, you know, right, right now this game is – you know, it's a lost cause right now on the school board. Almost impossible to come back, you know, down 51 points in the fourth quarter. But I think if you're if you're the coach, you'd like to see BCC win the quarter. Win this quarter for me. Got to have some momentum going in for the rest of the week and for the upcoming games. Gotta, you got to get something going. You got to win, win the quarter. Got to have something positive to look to look um, as you go forward. You're playing against one of the best teams in the country, or one of the best teams in Region 21. A team that's going to be there all year. You got to you get them on your home court. Get some enthusiasm going. You know, play your best quarter. Play your best quarter of the year so far. Talk about moral victories. You got six players. You got nothing to lose right now. Throw it all out. Put it all out there. Defensively, you're out woman. You got, I mean, you're. You're, you're going against a more talented team. Right now, it's all about heart, determination, and guts. And go out there and knock RCC on their butt. Play aggressive. But don't give them those open lanes. Don't give them those open looks in the basket down low. If you're going to follow them, follow them. It doesn't matter at this point. And Roxbury starting with the basketball, continuing with that passing game. How many yards today? Like 600. <laughs> Leading the league in passing. The passing game. Ooh, going Jumping to the lane. And jumper, Lyric for Fune, getting the first points of the quarter. Oh, it's for Fune. I thought it was Fortune. I cannot <laughs> see. Deborah bangs for two. Like no good as it's short. Taylor Grant is there to grab it. I like Fortune. What was the last game we were talking about, AJ Styles? <laughs> Fortune Four, new WWE champion, Bobby Roode. Be your money. <laughs> Remember when James Storm was in WWE for like a second and then immediately went back to TNA? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. He wouldn't be. He wouldn't be the same in WWE. I'm not a fan of Bobby Roode's gimmick either. His theme song's more over than he is. Yeah. But you gotta admit, if I like like, the, if I you like could the, have that like theme the, song like play every time you enter a room, it'd be amazing. 
like that would just just imagine that like you just enter anywhere I like I, end, I walk into the classroom or something you just hear glorious just like it'd be amazing it'd be the honestly, best thing ever I, I personally am not a fan of that song I'm a fan of Bobby Roode I'm a, I'm a fan of the It Factor and his old theme song no mm. one knows what we're talking about right now <laughs> this is so, the point of the game where we just talk about really whatever talking about TNA that's how bad it is right now hmm. You know they're actually paying people to go to their shows now. You can find it. You can find like a casting call, and it'll be like, looking for people to attend TNA wrestling. Like must be this, must be this, must be enthu- must be enthusiastic through entire got, show. It's I like have not seen that. They have like a casting agency to get their audience Are you now. Serious? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere. That's sad. Yeah. That's really sad. Come on, Megan. We need a Megan. Megan Amaral, Amaral lost it. Destiny Hurt coming up with it. We've seen this play time and time again as she goes to the right and gets it in off the glass for two. Yeah, they're just doing whatever they want to do. Right now I need a Megan moment. Hurt almost caused the backcourt. There's Banks going up and under the hoop. No good, gets her own rebound. Step back, jumper for two and Good in. Good job by Deborah Banks to stay with it. Get the, the rebound and put it back up. First field goal of the quarter for BCC. 88 to 35, eight remaining. What is it, a Tommy moment? What is it, Tommy um, for the, uh, on the Celtics telecast? It's like a Tommy moment or something? Uh, right, Tommy, something like that, I'd have Tommy, to check. Uh, Tommy point or something, or anyway. I want and Kayla I want, Kelly gives I'll, it away. Here's a jumper for two, and that one is going to sink. And that was Lyric Forfoon. For Megan Parrish gives it to Oliver. Oliver looking for another three. She's going to get it. Nice. Nice rotation on that shot. Leaves it up. Little arc. But she nailed it. That's her shot right there. Yeah, KO been good from three. Like I said, win the quarter. And Kayla Kelly lost it, and it's going to go out of bounds. So it's a BCC basketball. Right now, BCC hanging in there if they want to win the quarter. Moral victories. Megan Parrish tried driving, got blocked. Just looking to give it away. Amaral has it, gives it to Oliver. Oliver stepping to the left, plants her feet, throws up a two, no good. Falls into the arms of Banks. Banks gives it away to Parrish. Parrish almost falling to her... To the ground, gets right to now Oliver. Is, right now it's just fine KO. Yep, shot clock reset. It looked like it reset before. Banks gets the rebound and gets Deborah it to go. Banks. Now you want to get position. We talk about Deborah Banks' ability to draw fouls. Deborah Banks playing on the inside, and she's not that much taller than Kayla Kelly, who's 5'4". She's five got Taylor four. Grant on her. Kayla, uh, Taylor Grant's taller than her. Well, I know that. Taylor Grant's like five foot ten, But I'm saying Deborah Banks isn't that tall to be playing in the post. She might be, what, 5'6", maybe? Oh, Megan Parrish trying to get a sneaky steal on Kayla Kelly. Almost stolen away. Destiny Hurt for three. No good. Just short. Kay- Kaylee Oliver has it. I keep almost getting Kayla Kelly and Kaylee Oliver's names mixed up. Driving to her left, Paris there. Yep, drive to her right, no good. Davenport with a rebound. Pass to Grant. Grant with her left, and it goes for two. Yeah, that's what I mean. Roxbury, they, Roxbury's been on a fa- they've been on a fast break since the jump. If they're not on a fast break, they're they're nailing threes. And they're textbook with the fast break too. They know exactly what it, what to do. Tried to pass into the paint for Banks. It got taken away from Oliver, and it's going to be a jump ball. Bound pass to Banks. Banks step around, turn around. No good. Grant yeah. takes it. Deborah Banks turn around. Hurt. Hurt spin around. Throwing up with the left hand. No good. And Kayla Kelly. Gets feel, the rebound, throws it up before she even hits the ground. I feel Roxbury, anytime they miss, there's always someone there to clean it up. Back and forth, Parrish for three. 
No good, Banks with a rebound, brings it down, waits for her defender to land, draws a foul. Nice job by the boss there. Get in position, like I said, she's doing a much better job, but when she comes down with that offensive rebound, using that little head fake, using that little hesitation before she goes up with it. Sometimes she does get stuck there though and, and gets her shot blocked, but. I like the effort I'm seeing from Miss Banks. And BCC playing a better quarter. Like I said, win the quarter. What was the score at the, um, at the end of the third quarter? Like a lot to a little. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was 81 to 33. Might be down 13 to 9 in this quarter. With 534 left to play. So hey sports fans, you like you like sports, you like our local sport, you like our local sports teams? Well get ready to uh, to witness the return, the resurrection the resurrection. The to revitalized greatness. <laughs> to witness greatness. Um, get ready for the return of the Dirty Water Sports Hour. The Dirty Water the Dirty Water Sports Hour to uh, to air at four PM live on Thursday e on Thursday nights Thursday evenings on bccradio.org and um, and also check your local cable listings right here on your dial channel 95 here on FR media look for the dirty water sports hour here in the coming weeks but if you want to listen to us live after Thanksgiving you can catch us on Thursdays at 4 at 4 p.m. with the live version to be rebroadcasted at 7 on bccradio.org. And the men's, uh, the men's BCC basketball team getting ready to take on Roxbury after this in the second part of a doubleheader. Nice Ray to Davis. Davis wide open for two. Out the back, no good. Osborne comes down with it. Foul on the play. BCC men's team comes into today's game 3-0. They're off to a hellacious start. They had a blowout victory against Springfield. Coach Rob Dell, Lou and company. Looking for their fourth win of the season here at Bishop Conley High School. Shanice Ray in the corner driving, gets tipped. But Brooklyn Davis is there here, shorter. There's still that passing game. Sharif Osborne trying to get it off the board, but no good as Banks comes up with the rebound. Emerald, the pass to Banks in the paint. Banks on the foul line, well short. Banks still flat-footed. Got to get up the ground a little bit. Got to get a little spring in those legs when you're shooting that jumper. Oliver gets it, or tips it, Amaral ends up with it. Oliver the long pass to Parrish, Parrish for two, no good. Look at Deborah Banks fighting for the basketball. Deborah Banks getting positioned now. Finding the basketball, land in her hands, and I know they turned the ball over, but. Upper bank showing some fight there on the interior. Logan Davis with the pass to Kelly. Kelly shooting from three at the top of the key. We've seen her in the corner. One yeah, of the first Roxbury, times we see her up there. They definitely find their shooters. Now she's just going to drive in the paint, gets it to go. They're going to say the shot was good. Kayla Kelly, definitely the player of this game for both teams. And the foul is on Kaylee Oliver, and that is her fifth. Iris Rivera is going to check in here as Kaylee Oliver will be out of this game for the remaining four minutes. Iris limping a little bit.
I mean, does it really matter at this point? And she'll be taking two shots, so she has a chance for a four-point play. And she will hit both of her free throws. And Roxbury takes the ball. Is there a technical on the play? Apparently, I'm not sure why or who or, <laughs> or, what, or what the deal was, but, you know. That's unfortunate to get a technical now. Being down by 56, there's no need for it. I'm not sure what happened, though, so. And we have a travel. One thing, not too many traveling calls in this game. The last couple of games, Greg, on both the men and the women's team, we've seen a lot of travels. Yeah, we saw it a lot in the Springfield game. That's a very nice pass to Parrish. Parrish giving away to Banks. Banks driving into the hole, throws it up off the glass. No good. Ashley misses the glass and goes out of bounds. It's going to stay Bristol ball. That was a nice take by Deborah Banks on the baseline. I'd like to see her do more of that. She can definitely, she can definitely do that. And she actually left her feet. <laughs> I don't think she knew what to do after that. And she had to put herself under control there and kind of stop kind of stopped herself, she might have scored. Use a head fake. So 98 to 42. Three, 347 left to play. Three forty seven left to play in this one, Craig, and BCC just trying to finish strong here. So they won't find their they won't find their first win here today, but you know it's still I know it's still a work in progress. You get some good players. Iris goes to the ground, Megan Parrish shoots up a three, no good, almost gets wedged in the side. We saw that happen a couple times last game. Ball just getting wedged in the rim. As Brooklyn Davis goes all the way to the hole, banks it off the glass, easy buckets. Roxbury reaching the century mark. Roxbury just a well-oiled machine, and they're they're just consistent. They're just consistently scored. Hundred, just a well-balanced game for them. Yeah, this team is nothing less than a Cadillac right now. <laughs> Kelly now gives it away to Osborne. Osborne fakes out the defender and puts it in off the glass for two. Osborne. She's got nice, soft hands. She catches those balls, man. She catches the ball inside and just calmly puts it about the glass in a fluid motion. I mean, she's just she's just solid down down low for them. Banks you know, lost it. Went into Perino's hands. Can't get it to go. Amaral now just wide again. No, and Kaylee Kelly gets the rebound. Osborne by no means is she stiff. Maybe kind of slow a foot, but she's stiff, not stiff. Davis using the body to get good positioning, puts it off the glass, another two-pointer. Roxbury does not get tired. They're just, they just keep flowing, they just keep running. They're running BCC out of the gym right now. Banks and Bounds gets it tipped away. It's a race to the ball, tipped again. Kelly is going to be the one to have it. Almost falls, spin around, throws it up for two, and good. Kayla Kelly's still out there, still scoring. That was 106 to 42. And you ask yourself, what, what's going on with Megan Parrish? We have not seen the Megan Parrish from last year. Hopefully she can get it going. Not seeing the opportunities, not seeing her take the opportunities. I don't know if she finds herself right now getting lost in the shuffle, you know, with the new arrival of Iris uh, Rivera and, and Kaylee Oliver. And I know those two girls are have come in here and you know shown that they that they can score and.
last two minutes of the game. Roxbury not looking to stop. It's Brooklyn Davis at the top. And maybe they are just uh, winding down the clock. Why not? Osborne back to Davis. Here's Kelly from three-point land, and that one wow. is good. <laughs> she's just, she's just <laughs> Kayla they Kelly a little with the dance moves. I, are they rubbing it in right now? Because right now it seems like they're rubbing a little salt in the wound. They are not letting up. I mean, you're still shooting three pointers and you're down by you're up by 70. Iris from Curryland gets it. Wow. A little too late for that. Let me be excited, Dave. I know, I know how you millennials are. <laughs> Everybody gets a trophy. Yeah, you were talking about moral victories before. <laughs> Brooklyn <laughs> Davis giving it away. That's what I gives mean. to Osborne off the glass, two points. And they get it down low to, to Osborne. Like I said, those soft hands. Megan Parrish just running them down now. As Banks holding on the ball forever. Megan Perino loses it, and Davis is the one to Look have it. Osborne, 40 seconds remaining. Court. Osborne, no one is on her. Take it all the way Very in good. two points. Osborne getting out of the break. Laying it in. 30 seconds left. She's just going to drive. She's just going to try to take it herself. No foul on the play. Banks has the rebound. Shot clock is off. Loses it. Gets it right back. Gives it to Parrish. Parrish thought about three. Going to take it to her right. 20 seconds left. And BCC might be able to get one more field goal. Throwing it up. Running down the defender is Megan Parrish. She needs, Davis. She needs Ray gets the foul. And she is down. Frustrating day. Frustrating night. 114 to 46. Yeah, it looks like Shanice Ray might have hurt her arm off the off the uh, play from Parrish. Might have just gotten the wind knocked out of her. Out of her. She might have just taken a knee to the gut. And with 14 seconds left, she's just going to sit to the bench. And yeah, I just don't want to get hurt in the last seconds, especially in a game like this. It's a big blowout, you know? Not worth it. There's a miss. Roxbury plays right down to the final buzzer. They have not <laughs> they have not led up it. Actually they have kind of led up it. It just seems like they're just They uh, they kind of just did a more methodical offense by the end of it, you know? It's really taking their time, letting the clock wind down. See, Kayla Kelly is just going to hold on to it for the final seconds, and this is going to be the game. I'm surprised. I'm surprised Roxbury didn't go for a last second heave there. And an embarrassing loss for, for BCC tonight, but they're going against one of the top teams in the region, and Roxbury Tigers really take it to the Lady Bayhawks tonight, and the BCC won't get their first victory again. They'll have to wait. Nope, but with the men's game coming up, that's going to do it for the women's game with a final score of 114 to 49. So stay tuned for the men's game. For Dave Cardoza, I'm Craig Salvador for FRC Media saying see you next time. See ya.